Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. We come at you today with a couple of tweets from Mars Girl, and this is all thanks to that umbrella guy who's actually gone out of his way and posted quite a few things suggesting what's happened and how it's going to be hard for Mars Girl to actually do anything in a legal sense. Again, thanks to that umbrella guy. So I'm going to be posting this up here quickly now. We got that umbrella guy posted. Mars Girl is going to have a hard sell on not going after Vic Mignogna, considering one, she started on Vic months ago, two, she created the hashtag Kick Vic, three, she used it no less than 39 times, plus dozens more mentions, not counting others using it and it getting shared. And what he's done. He's done the first couple of tweets of when she first started using it. Does this need, like, hashtag or something? Something like, I don't know, kick Vic. Or does that evoke too much of an image of physically kicking him rather than giving him the boot? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't create hashtags. Hard to say this, especially on the night that a DBZ film dropped and knowing that I have friends, acquaintances at Funny. But... At Funimation, I think it may be time to reconsider hiring Vic as a voice actor in the future due to years and great volumes of sexual misconduct. So, it carries on. He's done quite a few uh, posts as well, which is actually really good for us, so we can just go through them. Attached is a sampling of those uses while going at his life occupation. Page 1. So we had someone here, Funimation, you should hire Vic Broly voice actor again if you don't want me to burn your office and everything. Yeah, that's a bit too much. That's a bit like, ooh, come on guys, calm it down. You don't need to do that. And she's come back with, sure, that's rational, kick Vic. And you got two more here. I think what is most important about Funimation choosing to no longer work with Vic is that they made that decision after an internal investigation. While I'm sure our voices were the reason for them to perform one, they'd have not dropped him be based just on us. Hashtag kick Vic. Well, with that one, first of all, how does she know there's an internal investigation of everyone to come out? So you had Ron, you had Monica, you had Jimmy Marshy, a few other people saying no one's meant to know what's happened. But obviously she found out. Again, she said she did have friends and acquaintances at Funimation. That just goes to show that Funimation have not done this properly. And they've even come out and said, the HR person who done it, yeah, no one's meant to know this. No one's meant to know what's gone on. But Mars Gill knew about it. Then she goes, a very in-depth article from Anime News Network in regards to Vic. Hashtag kick Vic. So, again, she's quoting the <laughs> Anime News Network, which is one of the worst websites out there. They literally didn't, they go through everything and they haven't even given Vic's comments on the situation. They did interview Vic and Vic, because Vic has even come out himself and said, I've done a lengthy interview and they haven't done anything in it. So that goes to show Anime News Network, they are scared of losing credentials and passes for anime future stuff. Then you got another one. <laughs> It's making me crazy how folks assume allegations against Vic Mignogna are made up or blown out of proportion, due to his affectionate upbringing. Nah, y'all, I knew him before he was famous, and I am at liberty to share my story, so why the hell not? Maybe it'll help someone. And then you got her going, holy crap, hashtag kick Vic. You got, then there's another one, she doesn't actually show what it, the tweet was. And she's gone, dude had a good thing going with asking people to stop threatening each other with violence. And then he goes and does this. Hashtag kick Vic. Then she goes into it of where she actually starts bringing Vic's mum into it. She started this way back in January as well. Today I learned Vic's mom is a Rosenbull Ranger with a title of Matriarch. Sorry, Matriarch. And is asking the Rangers to email her in regards to things they find on the internet. I have some concerns. Hashtag kick Vic. Well, you don't, you shouldn't have any concerns because it's not about you. Or it could be. Just because you invented the kick Vic hashtag. If Vic Mignano would like to publicly disavow members of the alt-right coming to his defence to harass people in a dangerous manner, 
and I don't mean in a closed room full of fans, but actually publicly, now would be a real good time. Hashtag kick Vic. Hashtag kick Vic. Story from voice actors and industry professional Samantha Inuhat. Or that woman there, the one who uh, faked the swatting, who posted photos from three years ago from a burglary at her home. Yes, that person there. And... <laughs> Page two now again you know that umbrella guy he's he's really done his uh, work here it's great I know it's hard to handle an army of girls our Vic has encouraged to silence you but those of you telling your truths I promise it's not for nothing if news outlets are starting to hear you please don't give up hashtag kick Vic and it's the Polygon uh, website Dragon Ball Super Broly yep you can see your response to that Rising Bull Rangers are now limiting public access to Vic's convention schedule and keeping it behind their own closed doors. Well, that's fine, because if they're keeping it behind closed doors, you're going to have people like yourself and Renfamous and a few other people who are publicly ringing up these people who organise the events, and you are slandering them. You are harassing them for two to three hours straight just to try and get Vic not to be there. And you wonder why people are just doing it. It really does make you think. We got one so Carries on. Neil Kaplan, I think I need to say something regarding Vic. From the moment we met, I've never liked him. It was Megacon. We were on a panel together. He showed up late. He didn't have enough respect for, you know, can't see all that. But then it's when you've got people then saying, Neil, thank you so much for sharing your story. With any luck, your story will help give others strength to share their own stories or not be afraid anymore. I know this is a big deal for any professional in his in this career. It doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you once again. Hashtag kick Vic. And you got another one. Gross that most all the YouTube vids this week about Vic are from Ryzen Bull Rangers who can't differentiate the positive positive experiences from others that had different experiences and raid vids saying otherwise with dislikes. Also the Rangers are still tantamount to a cult. So now she's calling them a cult. God, woman, you need to stop with all this. Even though it was January, she still says the exact same more. Today I was told by one individual that I need to report abuses I've seen. I did. That same individual was giving, giving proof things happened and told me I'm not the creep police. Hey, so am I supposed to repeat, you know, report, not repeat, and provide evidence or not? Hypocrisy is real. <sighs> Hashtag kick Vic. There's so many kick Vicks, it's ridiculous. Got permission to link to a Vic story. Perhaps the story of someone with a verified Twitter check mark will add legitimacy to the stories. Please believe hashtag kick Vic. And that's Jesse Pridemore posting my Vic story, watching my career disappear in 3, 2, goes on. Some followers may not like this particular news outlet. That having been said, Newsweek, y'all, hashtag kick Vic. And it's just the rooster teeth going to get rid of uh, Vic. So, just going through all of this, it's absolutely ridiculous. And it shows you how bad it really is. And when you just go through and you read, see what's happened, and you know, the little bits that have been said, it's mind-blowing how much she used the hashtag kick Vic in her own uh, little sentences. And... Every single bit of evidence that she's shown is like anime news network or people just saying, well, I know this, I know that. It's like, well, that's not evidence. People want evidence. People seem to not realise this. Well, they just keep thinking that I stand with Vic, the people on that side, they hate women, they stick up the sexual predators and everything else. But even with that there, um, I do have a video later on, which I'm just currently going to be working on after this one. And it regards a social justice warrior who was actually being caught for sending indecent images to a minor. Just get that out there. But I'm going to end up here now with this one. And say so I'm going to leave a couple of links below, which is archives for Vic. for the Basically for the words Kick Vic, Vic and Mignogna and a few other things. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. Hit that bell for future updates and I'll see you soon.